All right, we are live again, folks. And if you are just joining us, my name is Brian Penny. I'm from Clubhouse Conversations. I have a Substack down below you can find, and we are going through the Creator First pilots from, or the Creator First inaugural season from Clubhouse, the drop-in audio app. And going, th I am the one person who has attended every single one of these pilots and was sitting in there live writing these reviews and sent them all. They all got, got passed through everybody. Everybody agreed that everything is good. And so we're now using these reviews to show you the finalists that were selected that that Clubhouse chose out of all of this. We're, we're kind of dissecting what they did, why I graded them the way that I did on the report card, which you can find in the comments below. And uh, yeah, just breaking everything down as to what, what should and should not have happened throughout this whole pilot season program. And today is a fun one because we're going to break down the UFOlogy from Roderick Martin. And I had a, a lot of issues with this one. And I ended up, when we get down here, grading in a B minus. Now, we're going to tell you right now that this entire grading scale that I mean, no matter how harsh I am on somebody, I started off at an A with the creators here and I gave them an A to a C range. And so like you had to really mess up to get a C, like a C was actually failing because I had started off the town hall was an F and I respect creators way more than I respect the creator of the app, Paul Davison. And so, I mean, even though I rip into this for one obvious reason, I get that it has entertainment value, I understand. I understand that there are people that that see UFOs and they believe that this is something that like needs to be shown through. I get that there's like tinfoil conspiracies and there is a use for that. I don't have anything against that. This episode of uh, Rick and Morty Get Swifty, this explains exactly what is going on here because there are two different sides of, of in this episode. There's two different sides of what's going on. You have Rick and Morty who are the main characters who are actually working with the government and helping basically stop an alien invasion of the Earth. And while this is all going on, Obviously, everyone else on the Earth sees it also. And so there's this whole side story going on in which there's this potato cult that's getting formed by some guy who happened to have said something at the same time that the, the alien head had responded to Rick and Morty. And so he thought that they and everyone around him thought that he was the one getting the response. And this is the kind of crazy stuff that you get when you get into like a cult like atmosphere like Clubhouse and like and the potato cult and Rick and Morty. And so this is why people get called potatoes, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly why, but this is why people get called potatoes when they're, they're doing something stupid online. Um, I mean, this is basically it. It's that you're, you're trying to, to, it's just a fallacy. You're following a fallacy. And so this runs through a lot of the creator first stuff. So what, what's going on here is that there's professional podcasts. You could look at Roderick Martin's uh, on and, his YouTube channel on YouTube, and you can see what he does. I mean, it's UFOlogy. He himself describes himself as a crop circle specialist, which is great. If you're a crop circle specialist, that's fine. If you've ever seen the movie Men in Black, there's a point where they go to talk to like this conspiracy theorist guy who's just like watches a bunch of sci-fi movies, and that's what he is. And there's nothing wrong with that. He watches a bunch of sci-fi movies. He's got some conspiracy theories. There's a lot of evidence that obviously like he's not wrong on the idea that there are there are aliens and they could have possibly visited earth in some way obviously things from space come from 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 space into earth all the time so he does have an okay theory behind it but the problem is that there is another person named andy howell on clubhouse who does and on youtube you can look this up too ufology from roderick martin and also science versus cinema by andy howell watch the videos and make your own decision one of them is Roderick Martin, who got selected for Creator First and who is now being funded to make Clubhouse material on Clubhouse and spread information. And he's just an amateur who just is taking wild guesses based off of what he Googled. Now, Andy is an accomplished scientist. Andy is an astrophysicist who has worked with so many different space things and, and, and productions, actual like you know, space agencies or production, Hollywood productions on aliens like Arrival or, or things that have to do with all of this, that he understands 
all of it. He he gets it. He can relay it to you in ways that will blow your mind. Things like time travel. How does time travel work in Back to the Future versus Bill and Ted versus like this is the kind of stuff that he can do. What is how does the force work? How do lightsabers work? How do how does anti gravity affect this? How do spaceships fight like this? These are kind of things that he could actually answer because he's a real astrophysicist. Roderick Martin is a crop circle specialist. What he can do is the same thing that you can do. We can all look at the crop circles and go, I think it's this. That is not art. Looking at art and you're perceiving art and you are making your opinion based off of art, but you are not the creator of the art. The person who created the crop circles is the genius in that equation. You're just the idiot who's looking at it going, I think it is this. And that is different than the person who was actually the astrophysicist who worked with all of the Hollywood directors to make every movie that you've ever seen that's, that, that set the stage for everything. And if you don't believe me, go look for yourself. Go right now to YouTube and look up Roderick Martin UFOlogy and go look up Andy Howell Science vs. Cinema. Tell me which one of these sounds like it's A-list material that you would want to fund and which one of these is just some conspiracy theory kook from a tinfoil hat potato cult. Because I can tell you the answer, I did. And that's why I gave them a B minus. Not, I didn't give them a C or an F or anything like that. It's nothing against Roderick. Good job. You're a podcaster. I gave you your credit for being a podcaster up here. I gave you your credit for your potato cult. It's not easy to build that. However, you get a B minus and you should not have been hired over a person who is actually trained. That's the point. I'm sorry, but if you don't agree, feel free to leave a comment. But <laughs> I, I don't think he should have been given $5,000. And that's just my opinion. And I'm sticking to it. We'll go to the next one.